Star, what time is it? 1 a.m. in the morning. And why are we doing this? Miraculous. <laughs> Hi, yes, we did spend an entire day in Paris on two hours of sleep. Hi, I'm Inna. I run the fan account, Akumatized Camembert, and together with Starseed or Ellie, we were invited to the avant premiere of the miraculous special called Action because we are Zag influencers, which is so insane to say. It basically means Miraculous invited us. <laughs> so, I would love to take you along on this day which started way too early because we first had to catch a bus and then wait an hour in a very sketchy place in our main city <laughs> to catch another bus or something called a flix bus which was like the classic flix bus experience of like shoeless feet on benches next to you and an extremely rocky road we arrived in paris at 7 a.m and since we woke up so early and we didn't get ready we ended up getting ready in the most like picturesque parisian cafe you could ever go to so we just did our makeup at starbucks doing makeup in a Starbucks is like a very new experience to me. <laughs> then we promptly got lost in front of the metro station you were supposed to get into. Oh, you already found it! You made it easier! Yeah. Yay! At this point, rush hour already started, so it was very busy and very cramped, but it was a very classy Parisian experience. <laughs> now we had to find the Media One building, and honestly, it was not that hard because they have this beautiful sign in the front yard. <laughs> we got to meet up with some more of our miraculous friends like Mats! How are you? And take some group pictures. And then we got to go inside. It seemed like the episode art in the entrance hall was like the highlight of my entire day. I think we stayed at that panel for more than any other place. And if you want to know how good of an influencer I am. Oh, it's a group picture. Oh my god, I am so not getting the memo today. <laughs> We also saw some really cool miraculous things within the Media One building. And then we went to breakfast, which we didn't know was going to be there. The Kwamis would have been so excited here. Star, what are you gonna choose? On the spot, make your decision. We even had a hot chocolate station with like a bunch of different toppings that you could add up onto it. On the topic of things we didn't know about. Guys, 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 Jeremy Zag is here. Jeremy Zag is here. Jeremy Zag is here. <laughs> We saw Jeremy Zag again, and we got to take a photo with him. There was even a photo booth. God, who are you? <laughs> don't ask me what was going on here. Honestly, I generally don't remember. Then we entered the screening room for the special. How do you feel about this? <laughs> and we immediately were greeted by these reusable tote bags, which I'll show at the end what was in them. But it made me really excited because... Oh my god, my tote bag wall is getting bigger. <laughs> I have a problem, I'm sorry. Now, here's why there is an entire event planned around this episode, because it has a really important message that I'm about to share. This is Sébastien Breteau. He is the founder of the nonprofit The Breteau Foundation, an organization that thrives to provide education all around the world for all children, wherever they are on the globe. Together with Miraculous, they created the Plastic Changemaker Program, which provides educational resources surrounding the global plastic crisis for teachers to use in their classrooms. So yes, Miraculous can be a literal part of a kid's lesson plan now. And yes, the episode is a part of the lesson plan. This is a free educational resource course that teachers can download just online in different languages, including English, French, and Spanish. And it provides a bunch of miraculous themed, but also plastic themed workshop for students between the ages seven to 11. To educate and raise awareness to the global plastic crisis that is just all around us right now. The Plateau Foundation aims to have a million children educated through this program and I can't wait to see how far they can reach. I will have this course linked in the description especially if you are a teacher or in contact with children. I highly recommend this resource. We saw the workshops in action. They looked so fun. Here's also some wonderful promotion done by Star. It was absolutely wonderful to see this kind of problem tackled at children's level and explained so well. It was not a scary thing. It was a motivational thing and that's the kind of change that we really need to see. Also, their toilets were like hella fancy. <laughs> okay, but now our day wasn't over because we had a date. My audio was over it though because I, as a first time vlogger, found out that my camera doesn't work the way I thought it would. And I didn't record audio for most of these clips. Two and a half years of film school had nothing on me. But you don't need audio to hear how excited we were to go to the Eiffel Tower! On our way there, we found this beautiful street that we settled down in and took some pictures. And then we went on Metro Line 6, which is literally the coolest one out of all of them because we got to see our day on the way there. Seeing it in person just gets me every time that they made Paris into a real city for Miraculous. 
We went to our favorite spot and we just hung out there and just settled to enjoy our lunch. Hello, Edgar. And we got some more memories in. And then we already had to say goodbye. I did end up getting my favorite drink before we got our walk-in very calmly to Gare du Nord. Calm as in we made a pit stop we shouldn't have that made us have to run to the train station. But I'll show you what the pit stop was later. Started to take a talus earlier than me, so I had to say goodbye to her. But that meant that I still had an hour to be a menace in Paris. Do not trust me. And yes, I actually had a mission, which was finding a Parisian snack that is not macarons. <laughs> but first, I needed to make a stop that is like the mecca of miraculous merch when you arrive in Paris. If you see a relay or a relais, there's always a chance you'll find something polka dot here. Always go check the books and magazines section, and this time they even have plushies. I handled it very well. <laughs> I literally remember hunting for these specific plushies in America in targets. I think we went to like seven or eight of them. I'm sorry I made you drive that far, Jelly. But now they're worldwide! <laughs> this was only a detour because the thing I was really looking for was chouquettes, which you might have seen them in Chile. They're little dough balls with like little sugar pearls on them and I swear they are literally my tiki's galette. It's a problem. And I had been talking about them all day because I knew in the station they sold it. Emphasis on they sold it. <laughs> so after walking around the food stands, like three or four times, I realized that they did not have them today. Anyways, I ended up building up the courage to go to the info stand and ask, in my very broken French, if there was any place around that could sell it. But the lady, bless her heart, she sent me to Carton and they had chouquettes, which just entirely made my day. It's still making me happy. I still have them. I I'm surprised I still have them. <laughs> then I got to check into my bullet train, which I just have to show you how long this thing is. This clip is sped up by a thousand percent. This is genuinely one of my favorite things about living in Europe. It is the bullet trains. It's literally everything is connected by trains. You can take trains. I feel like my autism is shining through a little bit here, but okay. <laughs> I got into my first train, got super lost trying to find my next one in Lille, and then ended up calling my brother on FaceTime, who is a literal train manager. <laughs> <laughs> to guide me through the station. <laughs> I'm sorry for harassing you. <laughs> and then I made it to my own train station. Hey! But now, what is in the bag? We got a plastic change makers activity book, which has some games and educational pages. You can bet your butt this is going on to the shrine. <laughs> then they also provided these really cute buttons, which have actual recycled bags, which I have never seen before. And we got some coloring pencils. But now, the pit stop that was worth almost missing Star's train for. <laughs> so I had seen this on the internet and I thought it was kind of a myth that you could find them in real life with this miraculous band-aid. Because <laughs> it will solve all my problems except missing the train. <laughs> Thank you to whoever stayed to the end. This is literally my first YouTube video, which is insane. And I am so grateful to Media One and Zag for inviting me and getting to share this experience with all of you. I hope I get to see you again next time and have a wonderful day. Cheese out. <laughs> Avant première of the episode, the episode, miraculous special. To the avant, pre to the avant premiere of these miraculous, oh my God. We were invited to the, we were invited to the miraculous avant-premiere for the episode special. 